We begin tonight with Michael Flynn and his guilty plea. President Trump's former national security advisor admitting he lied to the FBI, arriving with his wife at federal court in Washington, already processed and fingerprinted as part of his plea. With the deal, Flynn is now agreeing to cooperate with the special counsel. Could that mean Flynn will testify against the president? We begin with ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross. He was once one of the president's closest advisors, one of his first major appointments. But today, as General Michael Flynn walked out of court in Washington, protesters chanted, lock him up. An echo of Flynn's own words about Hillary Clinton. Lock her up! Flynn pleaded guilty today to lying to the FBI telling associates he is prepared to testify, if needed, against President Trump and others in the White House. How many more figures have to be brought to justice because of their ties with Russia um, before we end up connecting all these centers? Flynn now admits he lied about his conversations with the Russian ambassador, Sergei Kislyak, during the transition period. The White House had claimed it was unaware of the substance of those conversations. But today's court documents show Flynn was acting with the knowledge of senior transition team officials. The first example, on the same day President Obama imposed tough sanctions on Russian facilities in the U.S. for medley in the election, the Russian ambassador contacted Flynn. Flynn then consulted with a senior transition team official who said the Trump team did not want Russia to escalate the situation a request Flynn then made directly to the ambassador. Putin did not retaliate, and President-elect Trump then tweeted, great move by Vladimir Putin. I always knew he was very smart. The documents also show that a very senior official on the transition team told Flynn to contact the Russian ambassador about a UN resolution involving Israel. Tonight we are learning that very senior official was the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. The president has insisted he did not tell Flynn to make the contacts with Russia. No, I didn't direct him, but I would have directed him if he didn't do it, okay? But according to a confidant of Flynn's, he is prepared to testify that Trump did direct him to contact the Russians during the transition, initially as a way to work together against ISIS. It's at odds with what he has been saying publicly from day one. The plea documents also suggest Mueller's investigation may be focused on President Trump's firing of FBI Director James Comey. Flynn lied to the FBI on January 24th. On January 26th, Acting Attorney General Sally Yates told the White House he had lied. The very next day, January 27th, the President, on short notice, invited the FBI Director to a private dinner. The dinner was an effort to build a relationship, in fact, he asked specifically, of loyalty in the context of asking me to stay. Two weeks later, Flynn was fired, and Comey says the president later asked him to go easy on the general. I understood him to be saying that what he wanted me to do was drop any investigation connected to Flynn's account of his conversations with the Russians. Even after Flynn was gone, the president still praised him. General Flynn is a wonderful man. I think it's really a sad thing that he was treated so badly. And David, a clarification tonight on something one of Flynn's confidants told us and we reported earlier today. He said the president had asked Flynn to contact Russia during the campaign. He's now clarifying that, saying, according to Flynn, candidate Trump asked him to find ways to repair relations with Russia and other hotspots during the campaign. And after the election, the president-elect told him to contact Russia on issues, including working together to fight ISIS. In the meantime, that statement from Michael Flynn today, Brian, says that I accept full responsibility for my actions. That's right. Flynn's confidant says Flynn is extremely angry at the White House that he was going broke with crippling legal fees and made this deal for his family. His son had also been under investigation but was not charged today.